Hey. Hey. <laughs> uh, it's a deer, and that's what we're doing today. We're going to sharpen a deer. <laughs> but actually, while that deer is sitting right over there staring at me, we're going to change the blades on uh, my John Deere rider, and I'm going to show you a little, couple little tricks, so hold on. That's right, we're gonna talk about sharpening blades today, but I'm also gonna talk about uh, a little bit about maintenance, a little about lubrication. And guys, what I'm gonna do is, this is actually the next day after I did it. It's so friggin' hot out there. It's humid, it's gotta be like 100% humidity. It's 94 degrees and I'm inside the garage because it's too hot. Yesterday was the same thing. I was trying to get ready because I had to cut basically four lawns yesterday. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about that, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break this video up. So I'm gonna talk today a little bit about what I'm talking but I may inject some video from yesterday into while I'm talking so I hope don't want you to get confused so I may come back here to the garage and then go back out to the sharpening so hold on. oh yeah before I forget real quick don't forget go over to the website make sure you subscribe to our channel go over to the website and look for the email alert sign up once you subscribe to our channel and you've signed up for those email alerts you're registered for the giveaway August 15th is the drawing for a $2,000 reel mower. We're giving away a spreader and we're giving away some uh, PGF Complete Fertilizer when it hits around July 4th. Go over there and do that. Make sure you do that after you watch this video. If you have a regular rotary lawn mower, there really is no big deal of this other than understanding the mower blade itself. So, real quick, this is one of my old mower blades here. And you'll notice, of course, it has two different sides on it. And then it has usually a grooved sort of section in here. And that fits onto the main spindle. And of course, this spins without hitting my face. The thing is, is this spins pretty quickly. You're talking majority of mowers, what, 3,000 RPMs, which means that this tip is spinning close to 200 miles an hour on the outside. It's not just about sharpening the blade. Um, this blade, and I'm going to put up a video real quick. I want to put up a video of what the blade looks like with this up close. I actually took my phone and I took a close-up of this. And you'll see the edges. The blade itself is kind of rounded. Then what I did was I took a brand new blade. Uh, this is a brand new John Deere blade and it's painted. And you'll see that I scored off some of the paint on it, but this is the difference. This is what the new blade looks like. The new blade actually looks like a blade with a sharp edge on it. So uh, maybe I'll actually get my phone and I'll put them side by side so you can see them, but there is a noticeable difference. So it's not just sharpening that blade. Now, when you sharpen a blade, the only part that really matters on a blade as far as sharpening is this, is this edge right here. That's what cuts the grass. Um, this in here, the rest of this blade is not even sharpened. This right here is actually what cuts this little piece. And if there's a groove up, that edge is sharpened because that's the outside edge and that's actually what cuts the grass. So the simple process would be we get a sharpening tool. You can use, you can, if you got a vise, my vise is actually broken actually. <laughs> but if you have a vise, you can put this into a vise and you can actually file it down with, uh, with a regular file and just put an edge back on it. It doesn't take much. You can actually get one of these. I'll link to these little um, sharpener devices where you actually just put this on. I'll have my glasses on. essentially like that and it'll do it'll they'll do this will actually do a very good job of sharpening that outer edge but because you're out in the heat of the day you're running this thing a lot uh, you're hitting rocks twigs whatever you can also get blade damage so this blade can actually warp it can actually get damaged and there's buildup on the blade I don't know if you can see that but you get a lot of buildup so balancing of the blade is, is true too so I'm going to show you real quick the balancing this kit comes with a little balancing tool and you just put that on there and then you use this to balance your blade. So you also want your blades balanced as well too. Again, you're spinning 3000 RPM. So let me show you the balancing effect. Okay, so here's a good example. Here is a brand new mower blade, fairly level, fairly balanced. Now let's take the old blade and you can see that this is touching over here. 
So it's actually sitting like this. So this blade is actually touching over here, and that one's up in the air. When I put the new one on, make sure I get it perfectly centered here. When I put the new one on, let's, let's make sure I got it centered here. And it's fairly balanced. But why does that make a difference? That makes a difference because your mower blade is spinning close to 3,000 RPMs. In other words, the end tip of your blade is going about 200 miles an hour. And now I don't have one of these, but I have three of these under my deck. So it can make a big difference. It makes a big difference in the way it cuts and, and also, but the wear and tear on all of your pulley system, on your gear spindles, everything about it. So it is important. Now let's talk about a couple of little gadgets um, that you might want that you might want to use. If you have a regular uh, push lawn mower, it's no big deal. You can flip it over, stand it up, and take the blade off of it usually without just a regular set of socket wrenches. Personally, I have one of these massive cobalt <laughs> wrenches that I actually use, and I'll tell you what, I only use that massive wrench. In fact, let me grab it. <laughs> so this is a this is the equalizer, but this is one of those, you know, massive wrenches. <laughs> it's kind of like a tractor wrench. But one thing that does is that big wrench allows you to get nice of like, uh, you can get a huge amount of torque when I'm doing this stuff. The only problem is it's heavy. So when, if you're up underneath the mower deck, it constantly wants to drop off. But if you know someone with one of these, it's gonna help you. If not, you can use whatever you can use. Now, the one thing I hate is I hate taking my deck off my mower. It's not that difficult of a process, but it's just a pain in the butt. I mean, it's 94 degrees out here. I don't want to have to take my deck off, then flip it over, then take my blades off, and then put my bag and worry about the belt. So what I like to do is I just, I just use these uh, hop-up ramps these little hop-up ramps. And again, I'll put a link to this on the web page in the description below. And all you do is just get on a rough concrete surface, put them under your front tire, and just drive up on them, and then drive back down. It's pretty simple. They're a really nice piece. Then what I do is I take uh, cinder blocks, I put them behind my rear tire, then I take another block and put it under my deck. Worst case scenario, if it drops down, you know, my arm, I'm not under it, it's just my arm that's under it. So just a little safety, of course. Whenever you change a mower blade, you're supposed to unplug your spark plug. Uh, that way there's no way that that, blade, that that motor can engage. Just taking the key out of it doesn't work. You need to make sure for safety purposes that you do disconnect your spark plug. Let's talk, here's what I really wanted to talk to you about today though. Um, if you have a single mower blade, you can pull the blade off, you can sharpen it, you can balance it, put it back on, you're done. But when you come to, if you have a riding mower, it's a little bit different. You got three blades, all three blades need to be sharpened, all three blades need to be balanced, and then you gotta make sure it's not bent. Yes, even though a blade is balanced, it can still be blunt. So I'll tell you what I do. Um, for me, time is money. So I can get original John Deere blades, a three pack, for about 40 bucks. So once a year, I just put on new blades. That's all I do. I keep the old blades as a backup set in case something happened, but you know, it's gonna take me, take them off and put them on. You know, that's probably about a 30 minute process. But if I have to sharpen, balance, clean, and make sure everything's perfect on it, I mean, you may get close to, close to another hour. And for me, time is money. I mean, it's just billable hours when you get down to it. So really what I do is I just buy new blades and you need to weigh that out. If you have a three blade mower, like I do, the John Deere, it may be easier and cheaper in the long term, if, unless, you're, unless you're retired and you got all week you're looking for projects, um, it may be easier just to buy a new set of run down to the, run down these, you can get, like I said, actual John Deere blades, set of three for 40 bucks. So think about that, that's what I do. Every year I put on a brand new set and uh, I don't have any issues with it. Um, I actually have 
I always buy extra set of blades for my mower because it makes my life easier. So I've got actually a couple set, new sets here. And so what I do is I replace my old blades. Here's my old blade. I replace my old blade with my new blade and then I stack these up in the garage. Uh, of course safety first, but I hate taking decks off mowers. I'm just lazy that way. So I have these lifts right here and I'll put a link to the lifts and you just drive up on the lifts. And I think I got that on video. You just drive up on the lifts, lifts it up. And then what I do is I have the emergency brake on the mower, blocks behind here. And then I always put for safety up under here and that kind of holds my deck in place too. It keeps my deck from moving around while I'm doing this. My regular ratchet set doesn't have a, what is it? I think this is like, uh, this is a 15 16 and I just happen to have one of these massively expensive big wrench sets that I use, you know, once a year for something, but it comes in handy for this. But I have a green, I have a silver Sharpie. And when this blade comes off my mower, I take it in my hand, I put it down, I grab my Sharpie, and I write this side up, and this is my left one. So as I'm sitting on it, that's my left first blade. I also make a note that the washer goes up that way. <laughs> See, it says up on it. So <laughs> I do that as well too. When you take off your blades, what I want you to do is, so that blade is gonna fall into your hand. You're gonna have a nut, a washer, a nut, a washer, and a blade. So let me put this graphic up. Almost all mowers have a washer on the top, the blade comes next, a washer underneath, and then a nut that attaches it. And the washers, a lot of times, are this convex shape, so they're sort of rounded. And that sort of holds the blade in place like that. It, they sort of squeeze down and put tension on the blade. And that, that so it puts, puts tension all around here and not just on this threaded piece. But you need to remember what side is up. If you'll notice on here, I have writing on here. And this is the left. As I'm sitting on my mower, this is the left blade. And this side is up. So I know when I go to reinstall, as soon as I take it off, I put it on the ground and I write that on there so that I know that when I reinstall it, I have the same thing. I can look at these two and say, yep, that's identical. Now, the other thing I want you to look at too is, is I don't know if you can see this or not, but you can see that there's a variance in the shape of this. In other words, this looks like it's shaping in a little bit versus this one is flat. And so you can get that loss of metal in there too. So there's a little bit of loss of metal over time that starts to develop in here. And you get that instead of having a flat bay, you can have that convex sort of shape in here. Now some blades are designed like that, but over years of sharpening and over years of wear and tear, you actually get a distortion of your blade. So like I said, these things are dirt cheap. It's not a bad idea. And it's where the rubber meets the road. <laughs> in other words, this is, this is the whole thing. The whole part about the mower system is right here these four inches. That's what does all the work, that's what cuts the grass, and that's why it's important. Now what I can do is I can take this blade and I can look at it and say, okay, that's the way it goes, just like that. So now I can go right back on and put this blade on, just like I had this one. I like to do one at a time. <laughs> Eight and five. And I'm working in tight quarters here. <laughs> Holy cow much going on so all I'm gonna do is I got a block of wood here to lock the blade put the blade back up on if I can get my fat ass up in here so blade goes first then goes the washer then goes the bolt the butt with this big heavy wrench. Tighten it up as much as you can until the blade starts to want to turn. Now that's locked in. That's locked in. Then just take your 2x4. <coughs> Oh, I'm going to be locking it that way. So let this 
walk them up here. Just like that. That's pretty tight. While you're up under here, inspect all this and if there's any lubrication mounts, any lubrication joints, which there usually are not underneath the deck, you can check those. Um, one thing you can do is, while you're under here, the lower spindle under here, you can shoot it with a little WD-40. You don't want WD-40 getting into your grease joint, but if you spray it up under, it won't get inside of it. Two more to go. Okay, so this is my middle blade. This is how it fell off, and this is what you want to make sure of. Bolt goes first. That washer goes under facing up, and then this blade goes up. And that's how I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to write that up there. So I'll put C for center and then up for up on this. What's funny is, is <laughs> I don't understand how people have $1,000, $1,200 to $2,500 riding lawnmowers and won't spend $45. That's a th three blade set is $45 and just rotate it, rotate it every season or however often you want to do it. it. Just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, there's penny wise and pound foolish. <laughs> You're pound foolish if you don't have an extra set of blades for your mower. Take the old blades off, they've been, we've, I've been hammering, I, you know, I'm cutting three lawns now with this thing, or one and a, two and a half lawns with this. Gets a lot of use. This is also a good time, get your grease gun out, hit your lube fittings, check all your bolts and everything check your tire pressure and then I'm gonna check my deck level with some blocks real quick anytime you mess with your deck you always want to just double check your deck level to make sure there isn't any movement in it so I've moved all my cinder blocks here so let's get this thing off the ramp So the last thing to do is uh, we're going to start this up, we're going to test out the mower blades and I left this here on purpose. Be real careful, before you start your mower, move it forward and make, there's a piece of wood under it. People always leave that block of wood under there. Doc's about to sweat his butt off. <laughs> I'm gonna cut three yards and then I'm gonna cut that test area over here. I'll test that, I'll cut that by hand with my little fist guards again. Again, every 24 to 48 hours, I'm having to cut that grass. It's growing so fast. Wow, holy crap. <laughs> All right, you wanna see what my peaceful Sunday morning looks like? Well, I shouldn't say morning. I started like at 10.30. Okay, so step one. Whew. Holy crap, it's getting hot. All right, so step one was to come out and cut Barb's entire lawn. So that's what I did. And I'm pretty happy with it. Um, with Usually with brand new blades, you might get some of that white haze that you can see on there. Uh, and it may be the fact that my deck needs to be up or down the front more, but you can see that PGF line here See that dark line right there. That's PGF complete line five days After putting down a granular pretty cool walk with me walk with me walk with me <laughs> Step two Step two was to cut the world's worst cut the world's worst Bermuda lawn, and it looks pretty good again same thing there's a dark stripe right there, and that is PGF complete. Then I had to cut my lawn. <laughs> Good Lord. So the backyard I cut with the John Deere, and then I did the power reel mower in the front, and man, it looks great. I mean, that's just some gorgeous stuff right there. That is just gorgeous. That's like golf course right there. Then, 
All right, then I had to come over and cut the monster. <laughs> and what's the monster? The monster is this uh, triple treatment of PGF that we put out on this common Bermuda. And every 48 hours, I'm having to cut it. Matter of fact, I got a clip of me cutting it. And the clippings that you're going to see, I even clipped the thing forward so you could see it. Uh, that's 48 hours worth of growth that I'm cutting there. Because I cut it not yesterday, but the day before. Good lord, this stuff is insane. Hey guys, so just remember, it's not just about sharpening your blades. It's balancing, looking for damage. John Deere actually has a video up about the geometric shaping of their blades and how if you buy a non-John Deere blade, the differences in airflow and performance and deck vibration. So I'm a big believer. If you've got a John Deere, buy a John Deere blade, try and match them up. I like to stay away from the secondary market stuff. Um, but it's just more than just sharpening a blade. Understanding the vibration and airflow it also comes into play. Again, you can sharpen your blade and buy one of those little things. I'll put a link in the description below. It's pretty easy just to put a new uh, edge on a blade. But also balance it and look at it and inspect it. Um, those things are spinning like crazy. So just do it. Anyways, talk to you later. Die.